Hey everyone, making this video before I go to work. Today is the Wednesday, 8th of August 2012. In this video, I'm going to share a little on the bone deforming in thalassemia major patient. I do not know a lot actually because obviously I do not have this condition, but I will give you what I know, go share with you. So in the healthy persons, uh, when they reach the age of like 50, uh, especially like women, I think uh, they have like higher chance of getting uh, this bone deforming or oxysphorosis. So they have to be more careful, uh, yeah, not to prevent any deform or what, because that will break their bone easily. And also the consuming of like uh, calcium is especially important for them. So they have like many milk powder that especially make for those elderly like uh, end leaf, omega or those uh, whichever you can name it. But in thalassemia patient, thalassemia intermediate and thalassemia major patient particularly have a higher chance that anyone else will get this uh, bone deforming. Um, mainly in the thalassemia intermediate patient. As in thalassemia intermediate patient, their bone marrow do work too hard to try to produce red blood cells to sustain their body. So that cause the bone marrow to expand, causing the bone deforming. And thalassemia major patient, uh, I feel that many of uh, people I know, they are uh, smaller in size, their bone is light. They may be like quite tall, maybe 173, not, not very tall, but uh, at least reach the average. But their weight is only like 50 kg, which is, that sounds to me that they, are, they do not uh, gain enough weight or their bone uh, density is like lesser, their bone age is like, always uh, before, uh, always less than their actual age. So what thalassemia can do to prevent it, that's probably nothing you can do to prevent uh, this bone deforming, uh, yeah, or obesity. But uh, that's uh, one important thing. Uh, I don't think the scanning is uh, needed unless you, are, you have symptoms to your bone pain or what, that you diagnose with it. Then I think you need to go through the scanning. But for... Most people uh, in thalassemia patient, uh, they just need to consume light. The only thing they can do to prevent it, there's nothing really to prevent it, to consume enough uh, daily requirement of their calcium intake, which is for adults, it's 18 years old to 50 years old, it's about 1000 mg yeah, a day. And also the vitamin D, yeah, because vitamin D is different to people, they don't have a requirement for the daily. So to know your, whether you have uh, vitamin D sufficiency, you have to undergo uh, just a blood test to know whether you, your, iron lab, uh, your vitamin D level is enough or, or is it uh, insufficient. And uh, what are they treated for this uh, bone deforming? Uh, obviously, it's like surgery, which we don't undergo, undergo. And it's like a medication and probably some like therapies like exercise to help to uh, <clears throat> make, that, make their condition better. So that's basically it, uh, what I'm going to share. You can tell me what you think. Uh, you, you probably guys know more if you do, know friends like that or patients like that or you yourself, the patient, you can share with me what you think. And lastly, I lastly take this opportunity to wish Singapore a happy 47th birthday. Tomorrow is National Day in Singapore. Once a year, 9th of August every year in Singapore is National Day. So tomorrow I'm uh, off, I'm on leave, so off actually public holiday, so don't, don't have to go to work. So wish Singapore happy birthday, 47th birthday. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.